I've always liked going to swaps and auctions, but I've never sold them one before. Well, today, that's going to change. So follow along with me on this adventure as I sell at my first swap. So today we're going to go ahead and get ready for the uh, Grand Valley Aquarium Club swap. So uh, follow along with me and we're going to go ahead here and I'll show you uh, what we're going to do to prepare. Uh, this is going to be my first swap, so we'll see how everything goes. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, follow along. All right, um, I did catch a whole bunch of mixed guppies. Uh, so now I'm going to select the ones that I want to take to the show. Uh, so let's go ahead here and I'll show you how I did that real quick. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go bag the fish. All right, I'm now going to uh, capture the fish here. So what I'm kind of looking to do is to look for some good-sized fish. I'm going to capture at least one or two females and at least one male, uh, maybe some more, and then maybe some fry as well. So and then we're going to go ahead and put them into the pickle jar. All right, uh, looks like we've got a pretty good group now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these fish into a bag. All right, so we now have our bags here. Uh, so what I'd like to add is a little bit of Chloramex to each bag, uh, just to take down any ammonia or anything uh, that would happen uh, during transport. They're not gonna be in there probably pretty long, but I'll just take a little bit of a Chloramex and put it in here. All right, now that we have the Chloramex added, let's go ahead and tie the bags up. Now have the first bag done, so time to repeat this many more times to bag the rest of the fish. All right, guys, it's been a good three hours or so, so we now have everything packed. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we're going to take over to the swap. First of all, uh, we have some of the remaining uh, Swedish Hongai. Uh, next, we have some uh, shell dwellers. All right, and then we've got a few groups of the Xenotoka lion's eye. I wasn't planning on bringing these, but I am going to bring the Limia Melanogaster as well. Uh, so a trio of those. All right. Uh, so uh, I do have some Lelupi we're going to take as well. And then we do have some uh, Santa Maria Endlers as well. And a group of the Blue Turquoise Guppies. Some of the Zebra Obliquidins as well. So we also have some Hornwort, some Jungle Val and some guppy grass downstairs as well. So I've got to print up some labels and I'm gonna take all this inside and we're gonna pack it up and ready to go. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow on the road, uh, on the road to Grand Rapids, you gotta get up early. It's already like a little bit after 11, so it's gonna be a short night, I think. All right, it is uh, a little bit after seven uh, here on Saturday. So we are gonna go ahead now, uh, make the uh, little over two hour drive to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, so we can get set up for the swap. So uh, we will catch you when we get there. All right, we made it to Grand Rapids. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the booth set up and everything, uh, see what's here. So uh, let's go ahead and head on inside. I really didn't get a chance to really go table by table. Um, I did pick up a few things, but let's go ahead and take a quick walkthrough of the swap itself.
the one thing I do want to talk about is this beast that was next to me. Uh, he was literally a foot long. So he was a common pleco. So definitely when you buy the common plecos at PetSmart, etc., definitely keep that in mind that these guys can get enormous. Well, guys, uh, we did make it back from the swap. Uh, it was a really great time. I uh, got to see some great people again as usual. Uh, every time I go to Grand Rapids, there's always some great fish there as well. Uh, so I did pick up some fish as well as sell the fish that we talked about earlier. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox the fish that we have. First fish we have here uh, are some Lemia Perugia. Um, I did have some Lemia Perugia before. Uh, these ones have a, a collection point from La Az Azufrata um, in the Dominican Republic. All right, uh, we have some other Lemias as well. Uh, these are some, juvi uh, some juvenile Lemia uh, species tiger. Uh, it's been one that I've been wanting to get for quite a while. So the next fish we have here are some Lamprologus or not a pinnace. So definitely interested and excited to get some more shell dwellers in the fish tank barn. Uh, the last from this bag are some Alatoka dugesi, uh, which are the bumblebee gadead. Uh, so these have a, a collection point as well. So definitely excited to get these guys uh, added to the gadead collection. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the next box. All right, so the next uh, bag here, uh, we actually picked up some Blue Dream Shrimp. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit interested in keeping some of the uh, easier to keep uh, Neocaridina species of shrimp. Uh, so this next fish here um, is kind of an interesting bagging arrangement, but it is the uh, Capolichthys paradalis. Uh, so this is the Capolichthys paradalis, uh, which is related to the Encaustus that I have downstairs. Uh, so another uh, another pretty cool Gideon species as well. So we'll go ahead and get these guys floated and uh, ready to go as well. And then uh, last but not least, uh, we have the... Uh, I did get some more Koi Tuxedo Guppies to go along with the uh, pair that I already have. Well, that does conclude unboxing all of the fish. Uh, we will talk some more about these fish on the Tuesday live stream, uh, as long as some other things on the uh, swap as well. I did learn quite a bit, so uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I do hope to sell again at some point. Um, I know there's a swap locally here in April that I may be at. So, uh, that being said, it was uh, quite a bit of fun. Well there, folks. I do hope you enjoyed this video on the Fish Tank Barn channel. If you did, so go ahead and hit the subscription button, ding the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the weekly videos we put out here on the channel. Uh, we do go live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, so join us for that as well. So with that being said, stay fishy. Keep on breeding. We do hope to see you on the next video.